Disney are control freaks who ruin franchises. Who'da thunk it? I mean, I, I knew that. I always knew that. I was always anti-Disney. I am Mecca. I am a consumer advocate and a harpy. I'm probably the bad guy and... Uh, Please like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, keep your comments to yourself. And I'm okay with that. I do have some backup in on this one. Who are you? Why are you here? Hi. I, hello, Kirby the Frog here. <laughs> As I'm, I am Rob Robot Shlomo, and I love the Muppets. See, I, I like the Muppets a lot. I like the old Muppets, but that's like Star mm. Wars, where like after like the early '80s, even the, well, the mid '80s, even with the Muppets. Eh. Funny, funny, you should mention Star Wars because that's another <laughs> Disney-owned property, right? It's like anything that Disney touches just turns into garbage anymore, mm -hmm. you know. And no, I'm being, I'm being a little over over crabby today no i like the muppets take manhattan i liked a lot of this stuff in the 80s even a lot of the 90s specials were pretty darn good but well frank oz says now for those who don't know frank oz he was a big uh he was a friend of jim henson and he was uh actually miss piggy a major and... miss piggy and grover and and Fozzie bear and star wars yoda, yoda, and he's the, he's the voice and he, cre he created yoda and he was a major influencer. Bear, Miss Piggy, for, Sam the Eagle, Aminol, Aminol Marvin, yeah. Uh -huh. The Dark Crystal. Mm, okay. I'm a huge Dark Crystal fan. Major, major player in the in the whole Dark Crystal. So anyway, um, he's the guy as mm. far as the Muppets are concerned. But Frank Oz says Disney shunned him from the Mupp, uh, for Muppets projects because he won't follow orders. From the Hollywood Reporter. The actor says he does not watch current Muppets or Sesame Street projects and doesn't pull punches as to why the soul's not there. Yes, this is exactly what we've been saying. <laughs> this is why anytime these corporations come in and buy something, I never count that as even canonical half the time because you, you remove the creatives, you remove the attachment, you mm -hmm. remove, like removing Lennon and McCartney from the Beatles just leaves a couple of guys. <laughs> And I love George yeah. Harrison, don't get me wrong, but for crying it's, out loud, I mean, yeah. it, it's it, it would be Jim, Phil, George, and Ringo. That's that's <laughs> that's the Disney version. So anyway, uh, Frank Oz, the iconic puppeteer and director, and is uh, persona non grata with Disney as he revealed in recent interview with the Guardian, known for his work in the Muppets projects alongside lead, late legendary Jim Henson, as well as for helming such classic films as Little Shop of Horrors. Ah, that's another one. Mm -hmm. And he actually also directed What About Bob? Oz said in an interview he pub uh, published Monday that he would love to work on another Muppets project, but Disney, which purposed, uh, purchased the IP in 2004, won't work with him. I'd love to do the Muppets again, but Disney doesn't want me. And Sesame Street hasn't asked for me in 10 years. So here's a guy who's been on the outs for quite a while. Mm -hmm. They don't want me because I won't follow orders and I won't do the kind of Muppets they believe in. What are the Muppets they believe in? <laughs> I made a joke that there's been some changes in Sesame Street. Just Sesame Street now has a character, a Muppet named Alex, whose father's in prison. I'm not making that up. <laughs> I'm not, I am not making that up either. No, they, yeah. yeah. Well, they have a homeless one. They were making – here, I got a – they're making a big stink about the homeless Muppet, too. The one – like, oh, the first ever kid who's suffering from being – like, what about Oscar the Crapping Grouch? I don't know what a Muppet, Lidge. though, was it? There was being a big stink of, like, oh, the first person who's homeless on Sesame Street. But Oscar Oscar, the li Oscar lived in a trash can for, for 35 years. I mean, jeez, you don't see him complaining. Uh, anyway, uh, it says, Oz uh, voiced Fozzie Bear, Miss Piggy, Sandy Eagle, and there's another one, Sandy Eagle, Animal, and Marvin Suggs for several different uh, Muppet film and TV projects. On Sesame Street, he voiced Bert Grover and Cookie Monster, Oz said he does not watch current Muppets or Sesame Street projects, and he doesn't pull punches as to why. The soul is not there, he said. The soul is what makes things grow and be funny. But I miss them and love them. Oz is steadfast when he talks about how, in his opinion, Disney's acquisition of the Muppets changed them forever. There's an inability for corporate America to understand the value of something they bought – they never understood. With us, it's not just about being uh, about the puppets. It's about the performers who love each other and have worked together for many years, he said. 
Oz did work with Disney when he returned to voice Yoda in Star Wars The Force Awakens and Star Wars The Least Jedi and Star Wars The... Oh, okay, we won't mention those. Those, those aren't <laughs> Star Wars. A Disney rep could not be immediately reached for comment. So Frank Oz, not happy. Fizzy is not happy either. No, made, and he's got Fizzgig a lot of sad. He's got a lot of teeth too. I don't don't mess with Fizzy. He's he's a little bitey. Yeah, he's a little bitey. So yeah, we don't want to. Yeah, see. Ah, see, he's got the extra row of teeth. You know, he likes pretzels. He told me. <laughs> he told you he likes pretzels. <laughs> yeah. He likes the long stick kind. He has little footies. Look, he's got little footies. Oh, he's got little footies. Yeah, let's put a bandolier on him. He'd be good, like you know, mini Chewbacca. No, mini Chewbacca. <laughs> ah, he's a mini Chewbacca. I think mm. they're cute. Ah. Do you ever notice when Muppets are happy, they they open their mouth? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, he's yeah. posing for aww. Yeah. Fizz so gig! Anyway, All right. Frank Frank Oz not happy. Frank Oz is actually behind Fizz Gig too. I mean, it's a uh, dark crystal. But uh, listen, it's a common thing. They Disney comes in, they buy a property, they treat it as as a product, and they don't put any real thought behind it. All they they're worried about is how they can crank out as much money, how much turnover they can have. They're like they're like a venture capital <laughs> company. They come in, they they gut it, they root it out, they hollow it out, and then they just use it as an ATM, and they leave it in a worse place than it was before. <sighs> Which is what we've been saying for years. Like th this mm. is this is not a surprise to anyone. It's a little no. disappointing, but hopefully people will kind of see why I'm so hard on Disney lately. <laughs> it's like they don't. It's not the same thing. It's a <laughs> Yeah, it's sad is what it is. It really is. It's Commander Rob, wash your dirty hat and shave your gargamel eyebrows. <laughs> so I got gargamel about. eyebrows. I got yes. I do. I got gar where? I got right there. I don't know. Wash your hat, it's dirty. <laughs> well I wash this I have washed this hat actually. Several uh. times. <laughs> so anyway. All right, that's about five, all I have to say about that one. That's all I have. It's a five dollar hat, people. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so Disney, Disney has no soul, right? D Disney. So yeah, bludgeons another property into the ground. All right, that's all we have to that's say. That's all I have to say about that one. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Waka waka. Who wants to hear a funny ass joke?